everyone, and welcome to the Master Drum Whiskey Room and What's on the Shelf Wednesday. In this series, I do quick reviews of whiskeys that you can actually find on the shelf, including bourbons, rye, Irish whiskeys, and scotch. So what's on the shelf today? We have Wadden Single Barrel Kentucky Straight Bourbon. The Medley family has a long history when it comes to making bourbon. Now, based on the label, uh, the old label here, that history goes back eight generations. And honestly, I was kind of a dummy and I thought that the big eight up front was an H statement. But rest assured, this is an NAS or non-H stated bourbon. Charles Medley distilled bourbon up until the late 1900s, but now sources all their bourbon, making them a non-distilling producer. Rumor has it that they contract to still their specific mash bill of 77% corn, 10% rye, and 13% malt from Heaven Hill. But if they are contracting out a specific mash bill, I mean, really, it could be coming from anywhere. Now, I mentioned there is no age statement on the bottle, but these single barrel bourbons are said to be personally selected by the Medley family, can be anywhere from about four to eight years old, bottled at 94 proof with an MSRP around 35 bucks. So this is the old label that I've seen on the shelf time and time again. Uh, recently, they launched a new label here uh, for the single barrel. It's the same proof. Uh, we'll do a quick comparison and see if they're any different, but this is the one that I always see that I, I, I'm like, oh, it has a big old eight on it. So maybe it's probably eight years old, but obviously, as I said, it's not the case. So let's get a pour. So let's start with the older bottle here and see if we got on the nose. Here we go. Wow, this is just all hay and bubble gum on the nose. Definitely a peanut flavor in here too. A bit light, it's kind of, it's very cereal forward. If you've ever, I don't know, pick a sweet cereal. Cap and Crunch, Frosted Flakes. <laughs> it's got this, this cereal quality to it, like this fresh open box of cereal quality to it. But yeah, the bubble gum and the peanut is really what jumps out of the glass. Let's go to the newer bottle and see if uh, being a different single barrel, if it's any different. On this one, the bubblegum note is a little bit more muted, but that peanut flavor is still there. The peanut makes you think maybe it is distilled by Heaven Hill. I mean, I know it's a, it's a proprietary mash bill, but just being the, in the Heaven Hill uh, stills and, and being distilled by them, Heaven Hill does have a distinct nuttiness note. So maybe that could be playing a part here. No, there's that bubblegum note a little bit here as it's opening up. Very similar nose, not a big difference. I would say this one is a little bit lighter, a little bit sweeter. They both have vanillas, caramels, but the, really what jumps out of the glass is the bubblegum, uh, peanut, not a lot of oak, kind of some fresh hay there. So let's go into the palate, see what we get. Cheers. Yeah, it's, it's very light, very sweet. More of that bubblegum on the palate. Yeah, it's very, very grain forward, very cereal forward. It could almost taste the sweet corn in there. I feel like I taste a lot of the barley in there. Hmm, let's go for another sip. Yeah, I mean, the palate matches the, matches the nose. It's nutty, it's, it's bubble gummy, it's kind of sugary sweet. It definitely tastes on the younger side here. I would guess this is anywhere between four five, six years old maybe. It's got a decent finish to it, longer than I thought based on the palette. I feel like the finish definitely lingers here a little bit. Let's try the newer label. Cheers. Wow, this one was even less interesting than this one. At least this one jumped out because there was at least a bubble gum and a peanut note and something kind of jumping out. This one, nothing's really standing out. It's just very smooth, easy, I hate to use that terminology, but that's really what it is. There's not a lot of complexity at all. It's very, it's very thin, it's very light, sweet, pleasing. I don't know. Neither of these aren't really doing it for me. Yeah, this is just, there's really not much going on in either of these, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, you can just tell it's younger. It's very sweet up front. Not a lot going on in the finish. A little bit of a peppery spice there, which is kind of nice. You still get some oak. I would say this is short to medium on the finish. I feel like there's more going on in the finish though than there is on the palate. The palate just flies by, leaving you a bit of nuttiness. 
leaving you a bit of nuttiness, a bit of oak, definitely that bubblegum note, that cereal quality, a little bit of youth to it. But the finish is a lingering part. There's some pepper, some oak. Not a ton going on with either of these two. These are just very sweet, pleasant, not a lot of complexity. Might be good for someone starting to get into bourbon if they just something super sweet. But I feel like there's better stuff at this price to offer some more complexity. This is an okay bourbon. Not much flavor here to keep it interesting. For 35 bucks, I'd probably go Elijah Craig over this any day of the week. Unless you like very light, sweet, cereal forward flavor profiles. Um, but I feel like there's way better selections on the shelf than this for even cheaper. Wild Turkey 101, Early Times Bottle and Bond, Elijah Craig as I mentioned, even Old Granddad Bonded, Old Forester Signature, which we reviewed last week. This one is, as a single barrel just doesn't do enough to stand out. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this episode for What's on the Shelf Wednesday as we checked out the Wathens Kentucky Straight Bourbon Single Barrel. Hope you like this one. Uh, leave a comment down below. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Uh, please hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments if you've had these, what you think of them. Uh, and also throw in some suggestions too. If you have an idea of something you want me to review that you always see on the shelf, let me know down in the comments. Always looking to talk to you guys. And like I always say, it is not about the whiskey, it's the people you share with. So cheers, and I'll see you next time for What's on the Shelf Wednesday. Take care.